Hey everyone, just wanted to hop on really quickly and tell you about this little news article my husband and I found on CNN. I um, actually just got done doing a Periscope about it and Periscope's supposed to save to my phone, but it never does. It is so unreliable. Um, once upon a time, I used to do these a couple of times a week because I thought there was a lot of important information out there and I wanted everybody uh, to know about it and then I would encourage people to go and research it themselves because I think that's a really huge thing is to go do your own research. I also think right now that it's super important for as many conservative libertarian voices um, to be out there right now to show our perspective because the election is so close so I think we all have to work together to get President Trump re-elected. So anyway, this article is a fun little article. I think y'all like it. It's an opinion piece and it's entitled, What Every American Needs to Know About White Supremacy. Starts out with saying those who study white supremacy see it as an iceberg. So at the tip of the iceberg, you have organizations like the KKK and Nazis, things that people would recognize as immediately bad. It goes on to say that the structure is designed to keep white people on top. You know, I just have to say, we did elect a black president, right? I mean, I, I think that did happen. That would be a simple answer to that question. But anyway, I'm going to pick some of my favorites um, from the list. One is asking black people to explain things that you could just Google. How dare we do that? I mean, we could just Google everything. In fact, we should all not ask each other anything or share any of our experiences that we've had in life because somehow that might be deemed racist. But only for white people, everyone else, y'all can just talk am amongst yourselves because white people, we deserve to be punished even though we never owned slaves and no one alive today living in America has been a slave. Oh, and also expecting people of color to teach white people things. See how they don't want us talking to each other? They want to keep us divided. And the truth is if you get out and have conversations with people, you will see that the people making most of the noise right now are snowflakes. A lot of them are even white snowflakes that just want to virtue signal that are confused and brainwashed and are SJWs. Because the majority of American people, they see through this play from the left, oh, but they're gonna be noisy until the election. Also, something else that makes you a white supremacist is calling COVID-19 the Kung Flu Chinese Wuhan virus. How dare we do that, folks? We can't do that anymore. I mean, my my gosh, you're just gonna, you know, break the world if you continue to call it that. I may have embellished that just a little bit. It came from China, okay? And China has been nasty, dirty, and sneaky. Does that mean Chinese people are nasty, dirty, and sneaky? No. And if you think that, then you're a snowflake and you probably don't wanna watch the rest of the video. And my absolute favorite, Y'all are gonna love this one. Are you, are you ready for it? Saying the phrase, make America great again. Did you know that's a racist? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I voted for a racist in 2016 and I can't believe I'm gonna do it again in November. It's crazy, they have pushed this narrative too far. Everyone sees right through it. It's crazy. The truth is, Trump isn't racist. Celebrities out there, comedians out there calling every Trump supporter racist is just stupid. You can't buy into it. There are some confused people out there right now. I understand that. And those are the people that we have to talk to. That's why it's so important for everybody to hop on and voice their opinions. And we may not 100% agree with each other, but the point is, is that we're talking. The point is, is that maybe we learn something from each other. So anyway, just wanted to hop on, share some of that great insight from CNN with you. By the way, my podcast did come out today. It's called The Short of It. I do it three times a week. They're usually five to 10 minutes long. Just talking about one subject. Right now I'm focusing on why Biden would make a horrible and competent president. So if you'd like to check it out and anything else that we might do, head on over to redhatchat.com. All right, bye guys.